great. How are you doing today? Good. What can I get for you? Uh, what's the something you all you all have some chicken or something that's new on the menu? We actually do have our new chicken wings, but we actually don't start selling them till two o'clock. Oh, okay. That's what I was coming to try out. Yes, okay. About that. No problem. Thank you. Don't you. Have minutes, no, I ain't gonna sit and wait. <laughs> but thank you. You're welcome. Uh -huh. you too. Bye bye. Thank you. Hey, beautiful people. I had to start that over because the music was playing. Hey, beautiful people. I hope that everybody is having a blessed day. I, you know, I was just thinking. And I want you all to comment down below if you grew up in a household to where to where you um, got an outfit or you celebrated every holiday. Whether your mother or your father or both of them celebrated every holiday. For me, it was my mother. because, But I also grew up with a narcissistic mother who um, beat your head to death or want to beat your head to death or abuse you physically or mentally and then want to give you a gift you know like a domestic violence situation you know what i mean but we celebrated every my mother celebrated every holiday we got an outfit for every holiday and it started with easter y'all it started with easter it was easter we got our uh sunday we got all our, we got an outfit from head to toe and i'm just just saying an outfit we're gonna get the shoes we're gonna get everything and for old schoolers out there y'all remember the banana curls because <laughs> my hair used to be very long and uh but banana curls and i'm gonna get me an outfit and stuff and, we're, and i'm going to church Okay, not with mama, but I'm going to church. So, let me, let me hold this. But let me go ahead and say my grades for one second, you all, because I just came out of Sam's and I haven't eaten anything, and it's almost three o'clock. And you all, just excuse me for one moment. Hey, Amen. Let me go ahead and at least take a bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice and warm. But what I want to say is, starting at Easter, for Memorial Day, for Fourth of July, for Labor Day, we got an outfit. And we cook with something special. We we grill and we doing something. But we um celebrated every holiday. With food, clothes, and just fun. Thank God that my mother was a responsible person. She was a responsible woman when it came to taking care of her bills and taking care of life insurance and all that. I am just seeing today, in today's society now, um, He came and got his wife. I saw her with Sam. An elderly couple, but but anyway. As I said, I thank God that <clears throat> my mother was a very responsible woman, you know. I can use my hands. They clean. I, I I sanitize them. You know I have my sanitizer on my purse and then my um 
a compartment here. So, fast forward to today's society. I've never seen so many or so much um, GoFundMe for funerals as I have in today's society. Listen, let's talk about Christmas for a second. I know what I was going to say. I see, <clears throat> I would see um, this past Christmas, mostly women, young, young women, and some grandparents complaining about, well, you know, I won't be able to get my child anything for Christmas, this, that, or another. For Christmas, this is what I used to do. When my kids growing up, they didn't get all the toys for Christmas. They got clothes. And they got some educational toys. And then they may have some something fun that they wanted. But as far as all toys and stuff being up under the Christmas tree, mm-mm. No, no, no. It, that, that was a no-no. But the main thing was... I was never going to go broke trying to get no Christmas gifts and all that. And I've been a single parent there were times when I was a young Marine and it was just me and my um, daughter and I'm like uh uh and that's why I'm glad that they were raised to where now as young women they've never been into the design of this and I gotta have this or waiting for someone to take care of them they take care of their own But in a world like today where we have so many grandparents raising their grandchildren, and I've seen a lot of men not in condition to raise their grandchildren. However, however, um, they don't want to see their children or their grandchildren go into the system and stuff like that. So they do what they can. And a lot of them are on fixed incomes. But I tell you, it's really, really important, you all, why you, when you think about, <clears throat> oh, I got to get my kids. Kids are not going to, do you remember what you got last last year for Christmas? Do you remember what you cooked last year for Christmas? Do you remember where you were at last year for Christmas? Probably not. For most of us, we probably don't even know what we did last Christmas. So, besides, and besides, Christmas is not for gift giving and all and everything. That's baby Jesus day. But I can't even say this to mom to young moms. <clears throat> Black folks. One thing I do know is we need to do better. We need to do better because there are a lot of young mothers and young fathers out here. Young mothers, let me address, let me just say this to you. Well, if you know young mothers,
Think about it. You would go to the nail shop and spend fifty to a hundred to a hundred to two hundred dollars or whatever. You would go to the nail shop and spend them. Let's just say fifty to a hundred dollars. I don't know. I don't go to the nail shop. I'm not giving nobody um, <clears throat> my service. I'm not giving. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna do it. I refuse to do that one. Um. But anyway, you'll go to the nail shop. You'll spend fifty, sixty dollars on some nails. You'll you'll go get your hair done. And if you're talking braids and weeds and all that, you'll spend up to two hundred dollars on your hair, makeup. Some of you will have makeup to last. That's gonna last you for years. I don't wear makeup, but makeup, man, I'm not knocking people that wear makeup. But I do know that makeup is expensive. But you'll buy those Christmas gifts. You'll go out your way for, for your kids, for Christmas gifts, <clears throat> and family and all that. When the first of the year comes, you can't pay your rent. You can't pay your, your mortgage or your, your utilities. You can't pay your gas bill. You can't pay your light bill. You can't pay, I mean, your car notes, your car insurance, your water bill. You know, we have all these responsibilities. And if you're a younger person who has uh, been in college and stuff like that, you've got student loans and stuff like that, right? But my point is, you will go and buy all this other stuff. And if you smoke cigarettes, you will buy your cigarettes. You will buy your wine that you have to have. Some of you may have to have. You will buy your wine and everything else. But people will not get life insurance. But then when you look in, you look in the paper... Or you look on Facebook, I ain't gonna say just the paper, you look on Facebook, people want to do a GoFundMe, have a GoFundMe. And let me tell you, I am not trying to knock nobody, I'm not trying to down nobody, but I'm just saying, just think about the things that I said that you know you may have as bills. You can take some money for you, some life insurance for your children. This is 2022. But they got nails. They got press-on nails. They got wigs, which a lot of people wear. COVID, uh, the pandemic should have taught us with about some of the things that we were so used to having, it, it should have separated our needs from our wants. And not only separated our needs from our wants, but, you know, I hope that it would have taught some of us um, a little more empathy, a little more compassion, all those things. But it hasn't. All I'm saying is I love my kings and queens, my princesses and my prince, my prince and my princesses. I got, I got love for you. I got love for the human race, period. And when I say, hey, sis, or I say, hey, brother, I'm saying that because you are my sister or you are my brother because... You're God's children. And if he's the father, then we brothers and sisters, right? Right. So I try, I'm not perfect, but I try to, you know, keep that embedded in my head and stuff because that's the way it should be for me, okay? But what I just want to say to you all, 
you may want to stop all this other frivolous spending and everything else and concentrate on what the main thing is. And that main that main thing, and I'm just using slang and stuff throughout because <laughs> I'm just saying, prioritize. Prioritize. And don't assume that life insurance is expensive. Don't assume that. But you should have life insurance on your child. You should have life insurance on your child. And, you know, on the whole family, obviously, but at least on your child. Because people are just being taken, I say on the whole family, you know. Because nowadays people are being just, they're leaving this earth just at a rapid pace. And, you know, nobody's going to take care of you and your home like you're going to take care of you and your home. And taking care of you and your home also entails life insurance. These GoFundMe's, 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 it's getting out of hand. I say it's getting out of hand. And most of the time, when they get the money, it's not for it doesn't it it doesn't cost thirty or forty thousand dollars for no funeral. It doesn't. It does not. So, unless you're having a few funerals in different states and stuff like that, running it up the tab, but. You all need to make sure that you have some um, life insurance. I'm just saying. On your kids. And on yourself. Okay? Don't let your kids... Don't leave your kids... <clears throat> trying to... Don't leave your kids in a position to where they have to put out a... Put the head out. Okay, the donation cap out, or you know, don't 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 put your don't put your kids in this situation. Because it's not fair to them. So anyway, I don't want to be rumbling and rumbling and rumbling. But I did want to share that with you all. I'm so tired of seeing co-families. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And people having to collect money for their kids. <clears throat> it would be nice if the government, since they want to have a handle in all your stuff that you do. As if you're on the system. When you're collecting the welfare. That you're given the opportunity to. And I just thought of this. That you are given the opportunity. To buy some life insurance. You know, and it'll come out to check each month, you know, or, or quarterly or however they do it. I think that would be awesome, don't y'all? Because, you know, they're saying, oh, we shouldn't have to bury our children. Well, no, uh, a lot of people think that you shouldn't have to bury your children. But a lot of people's children are leaving this earth real uh, very quickly lately and hey you can't get some things you you can't get around pushing up days is just one of them but until i uh excuse me you all but until i can um Oh, I'll be seeing you guys 
Uh, I'll be back in what she said. It is cold out here today. But I'll be back in my she shed and uh to do some videos and stuff. I'm gonna check out I think I'm gonna check out um Taco Bell's chicken. Probably if I don't do it later today, I'll probably do it no, I'll probably do it another day. Because that's some fast food. Because I just had that hot dog and I don't want to have another fast food today. I'm not that much of a fast food person. Not, not on a daily. So, um, because I can make pretty much whatever anybody, any of these restaurants are serving. New girl can make. So, I'm going to go up here to Publix. I just, I'm leaving Sam's Club. And I'm going to go up here to Publix to see... And uh, grab me a few lobster tails. Because that's all I would need need to get. I got everything else. And I'm going to holler at you all and very shortly. And thanks for rocking and rolling with me. Make sure you please like, comment, subscribe, and share, 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 share. Share my videos with any and everyone that you know. Because what do I do? I do uh, mukbangs. This is what I started off doing. And I still do. I do mukbangs. I do mock pressions, lip syncs, uh, challenges, story times, reviews. Usually like movie reviews or product reviews. And you know, when I find something... When I when I find a when I uh, discover a good find, I always like to share with excuse me share with my viewers. So I do a little bit of everything, whatever puts a smile on my face, and what I hope will put a smile on your face. And even when I'm eating, unless I'm doing an ASMR, a no talking ASMR, I'm always uh, discussing something. Even when I'm doing my mukbangs, I'm I'm discussing something real talk, you know, real life talk. And also make sure when you click on my videos, make sure you check out the description box. I always put something in there. I don't care if it's two sentences. I'm going to put something in there and everything. And I want, I really, really appreciate you all. It's 2022. I really hope that this is the year for um, me to reach my subscriber uh, thousand subscribers even though I know it's a thousand I know it seems like a lot but I need you all's help all you gotta do is pass it on to the next friend pass my videos on to the next friend and the next and the next you know like a chain come on help your girl out I really really appreciate it and um oh challenges too and I have a few challenges that's coming up and uh let me see i believe that's all and until next time you all have a blessed day and check on life insurance policy prices you know you would be surprised they're not that much and especially if you live in, in um i can't even say if you're in an urban area or, or, or the inner city i can't even say it anymore because it's so much happening in this world you know there's so much happening. But that's just my two cents. That's just my two cents on it, you know. And, yeah. Sometimes you just have to set your priorities the way you you deem them to be fit. You, know? you deem fit. But until then... Until next time, you all have a blessed day. And, oh, and I hope you all enjoyed that video I did about what if there were no black people on earth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't just try to get your history uh, in February. Because for me, <clears throat> black history is every day. But anyway, you all take care of yourselves. Stay blessed. Make sure that you're good to others. But most of all, make sure you're good to yourself. So that you can be good to others. And have a blessed day. I'm going to go get me some nice little hot uh, green tea. After I come back from Publix and chill. Stay blessed, y'all. I appreciate you too. Thanks for rocking with me.